Episode 11 of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 begins with Yuji trying to use his physical strength to open the curtain, but that doesn't work. Yuji and the others find Ogami and her allies and fight them. We receive a flashback of Ino, Yuji and Megumi finding the artifact related to the curtain's foundation. Megumi suggests that they destroy the artifact and deal with the curse users who set up the barrier later. Ino notices Awasaka holds one of the artifacts as he plans to fight Ogami and her grandson. An intense battle begins between Yuji and Megumi, who are now facing Awasaka together. Megumi tries persuading Awasaka to tell the others to cancel the barrier. Awasaka refuses to let them help Satoru escape after the fear he caused them and other cursed users over the years. Meanwhile, Ino realizes Ogami is a necromancer and uses a seance technique to allow her grandson shapeshift into Toji. Her grandson delivers devastating blows to Ino as we transition to Yuji and Megumi continuing the assault on Awasaka. The episode closes with Yuji successfully knocking Awasaka out. Let's find out what will happen in this episode. Please don't forget to press the front button to make sure that my video gets pushed forward and if by chance you would like to hear more from me, subscribe! Due to problems with copyright on Jujutsu Kaisen videos here on YouTube, I will be making the sound of anime more quieter than usual. You can find uncut, fully visible and sound version of this reaction on my Patreon which is linked down in the description below. Hmm, it's Nanami. Oh no, so the agent is dead. Because for a moment we saw how massacred his face is. Ooh, that was a very, very short intro, I must say. There was so much happening in the previous episode. I feel like we kind of forgot about this poor agent. And they, they did mention before that there is somebody that is hunting the agents. I wonder how strong they are as well. May May. Oh. <gasps> the guy already lost? <laughs> Wow. Wow, she's amazing then if she can find for that fight without her technique. Oh, I think it's too late. <laughs> Look at her swinging to the sides. Look at that big blade of hers. ridiculous look at her pose you don't have to say applause she's such a sweet killer seriously and you think may may will spare your life because you promised oh inochi no catchy hmm <laughs> yeah from your perspective of a siscon yes you don't value life do you you only value your own, but what is it but a mere, mere existence of a curse? Hmm, so the little boy must be important to her in that meaning. Otherwise, why would she be dragging him with her, with her? Important and perhaps he has his own power or some sort of use, use to her. What's happening? Oh no, that's Inno! His mask is gone, so he couldn't use his powers to defend himself from Toji. What's going on with him? Something is happening. What is happening? That's impossible. Wow. Oh my god, he's so scary. I just killed her in an instant. Wow. Mm. Wow, that's <laughs> some chaos in here. Yeah, what's the point of this uh, jujitsu sorcerer slash um, alcoholic? Oh, thankfully. Gosh, his father is on top of this building. Hmm. 
Good idea. Sadly, you have to carry on on your own. It's really tough to be here to reach the sorcerer, especially in this difficult predicament. Because <laughs> that makes sense. Yes, my camera must be preserving his battery. <laughs> and you a cheeky one, Mei Mei. No way, it's that blonde maniac. So many of these agents are dead. Why would he dispose of his weapon in that way? Yeah, exactly. Well, how does that make sense? He met her before. I missed it. He's good at avoiding his her attacks. Was that the hand? The hand is following her. Oh gosh. Slashed her tendons. Oh my god. How can the weapon act on its own? Cursed object. Absolute scumbag. Because she is good at fighting, but he is not bad himself. How is it not falling on him? How strange. Oh my god. You hit more than her chin. Is it like a concussion? What a psychopath. I don't recognize him. I can't remember. Did he just stab her in her boot? Oh my god. She got her hair way too hard. Who is that? Nana me. Oh my god. She didn't stood a chance now that she got hit so hard. So glad that someone came to rescue her. I'll say about that. Oh, I think <laughs> think he was gonna pummel someone with those hands. I'm surprised because I thought he would be using his sword, knife, or whatever that is. How oh, did he have escaped? Well done. Oh wow. Look at his eyes, he's furious. Scary isn't... <gasps> Wow. I didn't know he can be so strong with just his hands alone. Amazing technique. <gasps> oh my god.
Oh, well done. Oh my god, I've got sugars. Time to pay. Pay with your life. Whew. That boy is dead. No way he would survive. Wow, Nanami. Wow. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, one source of it, if not more than that. Amazing. Get to meeting Mei Mei. It's not ghetto. It is not. Exactly. Hmm. <laughs> nice fight between Mei Mei and Ghetto. Oh, so she knows. Smallpox deity, special grade disease curse. Special grade disease. Oh God. This is gonna be difficult. Wow. Oh, it sucked her in. Oh, sugar. Oh my God, being trapped in a coffin. I can't imagine that. It must be really scary. Where is this rock coming from? Jesus, and she just slashed, Did you, how is that possible that she was in a very tight coffin and she just slashed through the coffin and through the boulder, that is crazy and she didn't use her um, technique right, it was just her pure strength and skill, my brain just cannot comprehend it. Yuji. Oops. Whoa, that is straight up fight. Jeez, my God, honestly. Can Yuji win against him? His technique is a blood manipulation, if I remember correctly. So him shooting the blood at Yuji. How can Yuji defend himself when all he has is his strength and fist? That would be a very interesting fact. I suppose Yuji would have to get close to him to defeat him. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But I've got to tell you one thing. When Nanami pulled this guy's hair, I literally felt as my hair were pulled. I was just like, my God, I was so scary. It was just like watching a horror anime for a moment. I would not want to be in Nanami's way and no one would want to be in Nanami's way. It's just like so strong 
and so scary. I'm so glad that he showed up in the right moment, otherwise these poor two girls would be just dead. Can't wait to find out what's gonna happen in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching this video with me. And a big shout out to Isaac who has recently subscribed to my Patreon. Thank you very much for your support and also a big thank you to my other Patreon supporters, uh, followers on Instagram and other people who have subscribed to my channel. You've really made my day. Thanks and have a great day. See you in my next video. Bye!